Hey, hey, it's Michael. Welcome to another video tutorial. And this time I'm going to show you how to utilize and how to create custom fields in Jira in like less than five to 10 minutes. So by the end of this video tutorial, you will be able to create and configure the custom fields and also associate with a screen. By the way, the screen, uh, the screen lesson is coming also very, very, very soon. And of course, as always, this is a part of the training course in, with more details you're going to find in the description. So let's actually, before we're going to get jump into Jira, let's very quickly talk about the custom fields. What, what the custom fields is. So when, for example, you're creating a ticket in Jira, uh, and you hit the C button or do the create, you're gonna see the screen is gonna pop, pop up, which is a create screen. Jira is gathering the information. It's so like, for example, summary, description, uh, link to the epic. That is actually a field. So they are system fields. They are system fields and they are also custom fields. So this is a very, very important tool if we would like to customize it. And now I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's jump quickly into Jira Cloud. And by the way, yes, I am using Jira Cloud again, free version, which is no difference over here. However, in a server, it is similar, but a little bit, little bit different. So if you want to see how to do it in a server, let me know in the comments. However, it is very, very similar. All right, let's get to it. Okay, my timer is set. So let's first of all, navigate to the uh, Jira Cloud. And by the way, I'm not going to mention any project type because they are um, they basically can be used in any any project type. It doesn't matter if it's Scrum, or Kanban, or non agile, or even Service Desk. Yeah. So, but in this case, I will be using my SSB, a very friendly project. Why? Because I already have got a few tickets. So let's explore uh, fields first. Yeah. So if I'm going to hit that create button that I showed you before, of course, you know, make sure before you can before before I'm gonna just like do it, that all fields are displayed. So basically that what I told you that summary, components, due date, even attachments, they are fields in Jira. So like basically system fields. By default, I can tell you they're pretty much okay, but what's gonna happen if we would like to add a few additionals? And in this case, I'm gonna show you how to add three additional fields. One includes uh, date, and one will be for the single line and one will be for the checkboxes. So like you've got basically multiple options. And and of course, by the way, it is possible to also have uh, filled them up automatically uh, by the default value. Plus it is possible to set something as we call it mandatory field when that, when of course that information is required. However, this is going to be beyond this uh, lesson. So I am not going to show you how to do it this time. Well, let's actually create them first. So if you hit a create button, uh, yeah, <laughs> and you're going to see this screen first, of course, you know, you can configure it. Sometimes people actually use this like, yeah, like me, show fields and uh, as you actually see on the screen, you will be able to, for instance, select which one you want. And I always actually recommend to do that, you know, so you, there is very, very big chance, especially for the creation process, you do not really need that many. But okay, what is going to happen now in our scenario when we need those few extra additional fields? I'm, as, I told, as I told you, we'll be using uh, where it is. It is actually here we're using we're going to use project start date, department, which is the single line, and development status, something like red, amber, green. It doesn't really matter, it's just a name. So what I'm going to do, I have to leave this uh, maybe tab open and navigate to my second tab, and we can go straight away to custom fields. Of course, you can do it in a few ways. Don't worry about that JQL. We're not going to use the JQL. So the fastest, in my opinion, way is to hit the dot. And of course, go for the custom fields. But I'm going to show you. you know, some people want to see where they are located. Of course, I haven't actually told you that you need to be a, a G administrator, of course, to add custom fields. Yeah, so they are, of course, they're going to be located from the right hand side, from the cog, and under issues. Yeah, under issues, and we go to the custom field. So, yes, if you're using actually server. The procedure is very, very, very similar. However, of course, this view is a little bit different. And before we actually can keep adding them, 
another important information, which I can tell you, <laughs> it, it, it is actually in a pro especially in a production, uh, kind of annoying. So this is actually this kind of annoying thing in Jira that custom fields can be duplicated and. If, especially if you're running, let's say, a large scale production environment, I'm going to tell you there is like 100% chance they will be duplicated. Why? Because, for instance, very often when you're migrating uh, projects from Jira to Jira, they're going to be created maybe by the script, maybe by the, uh, by the import, but it is actually very important to utilize them. Yeah. So make sure, you know, when you create a name, something do not never go my mind, this never go to like very, very specific because maybe you can actually utilize it for another project. Because believe me, sometimes, you know, I've got a Jira with one custom fields, like times 15 can happen, of course. All right. So think uh, first thing first, let's go to my notepad and we're going to create, we're going to start from this project start date of course you no know, jira by default we've got three dates create update and resolve but what's happened in our case when we want to add a few more okay let's do it so we're going to hit create custom field and from now i'm going to use the standard you can select whatever you like of course you know <laughs> again please don't do not watch it please 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 uh, follow my steps and have some fun with this you don't need to really have a, a date you can actually choose whatever you want but because date is pretty much a popular i will select that and next one i'm just copy paste just a lazy method and hit create and of course as you're going to see right now there is asking for the screen we're not going to do it by the way so i'm going to cancel it i'm going to explain you why because when you're adding custom fields to jira it is not possible to add it to directly to the project so every custom field is basically a global one so now we have to tell jira that this field need to be associated with the project or projects because it can be of course with many projects how to do it so let's see if the star project star date is created okay it is there that's great so let's go back to my first tab and now how to add it to the issue you can you have to navigate to project settings and from project settings just loading loading we will go to screens and again as i told you this, the, the screen actually video tutorial is coming very very soon so i'm not going to go in super details however in Jira, uh, in my actually scenario, we've got two different schemes for two different issue types. So like I have at the moment one, two, three, four, five, of course it's a default. So you can have five different one if you want. Uh, I actually got only only two different, but plus let's little bit, little bit complicate this. The screen can be also narrowing down to, in, and, and we can actually narrow it into three. Why? It could be for create, edit, view and very quickly i'm going to just very very quickly explain why there could be different in regards to create and view the the simplest answer is to that uh, some project especially like on the production can use multiple custom fields and the, really some of them they could be like even hundreds you know so very often if even if you use like let's say additional 10 very often you do not need to populate those 10 custom fields at the creation process that's why this field uh, this actually screen schemes can be different so create can be completely different compared to edit or maybe it's it's opposite maybe you need actually a lot of uh, custom fields when you create and later when you edit or view 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 of course yes but when you edit maybe not so that is the reason however they shared so we're not gonna actually we don't need to worry about this we can edit whatever you want so we navigate to the first one and from here I just need to put that date as you can see from the list and also this is how you're gonna change the order so I just like group them maybe close to the due date and now let's actually see how that's gonna work like so again go back to my to my project so again go back to my SSB okay and it's a scrum but as I told you if you're using Kanban absolutely fine let's hit create button and as you can see right now we have our project start date so it is actually custom field and yes i'm gonna in, in the next few videos i'm going to share also how to auto populate them you can do it in a few different ways uh you can do it from jira you can use it from automations or even script run it doesn't well doesn't matter it matters actually because it's it's, it's very different yeah? so now you can select whatever date you want and also as you, as, you, as i told you before it is possible to make them 
mandatory. But that will be that we will talk about this when my uh, video about the fields is ready. Yeah. So at the moment they're not mandatory. You can put whatever you want. If you don't, absolutely fine. So let's actually have a few more, uh, just two more, two more extra custom fields just for fun. Let's go and add them. And I will by the by the end of them I'm gonna. I'm going to populate all of these custom fields and we'll see how that looks like in Jira. All right, so I'm going to again go back into my third tab, hit dot, and now I'm going to add two more at once, which is development or department, however we call it, it's a single list. So again, make sure what I, I just like showing you from production what I always do. Always make sure, you know, this is no, no duplications. Uh, because I believe he's not even gonna warn you if you if you keep adding. That's like this little little, let's say, issue. However, I am checking that department is not there. So now I'm gonna create custom field. And again, I do not need very long uh, text. However, if you need, if that's the need, absolutely put them over here. I'm gonna go in my case into a single single line. So single. There you go. Uh, sorry, and this one single. I want the single text. Where it is? Where it is? Where it is? Sport reach. Uh, short text. They call it short text. I think it's a little different on the server. Yep, there you go. So, department. And again, at this moment, I'm going to ignore this. And I'm going to add one more, which is the development status. Something, whatever it means. So, again, I'm going to paste into the search. No such thing. I hit create, and from here, as I told you, uh, we're gonna this time have uh, yeah, a little, little extra fun with that check boxes. So it means you can actually select few at once. All right, let's let's go do it. There we go, and we've got something like red, amber, and green. Wow, no spelling mistake this time. And again, I'm gonna. Cancel it because I don't need that. So now let's quickly associate them with the with my project. Yep. Okay, that's gonna be again the same one. So I'm I can leave this over here, go back to configure, and again I'm gonna show you how to do it. So from the top, navigate to the project, go to the project settings, and I'm gonna go to screens. There you go. And now I will need that with my story, epic tasks. Or I don't care about bugs, which is fine. You know, if you if you do, do it, do it also for bugs. And again, because the screen is shared, I can add them right here. Yeah. So just to copy paste department. There we go. And of course we've got our development status. There we go. Here here. So I'm gonna move them a little bit up. Like let's say, uh, yeah, we can move them. I can. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. After fixed version, yeah. It's gonna be after fixed version. Department, development. Okay, that's fine. So let's go into my second tab, and now I can. You don't really need, you don't really need to refresh, but I'm just refreshing, and let's see if they are here. All right, we've got our start date, yeah. And our department plus the development status are there. So because I selected single line, so like they, they call it a bit, it's a bit different. I think it's, that's the name of the server, by the way. So let's see how that works. So we're gonna call demo one, two, three. We ignore components. Uh, start date, yes, we put something maybe today. And we go for department that will be finance. And development status. Maybe I only care about red and green. And well, the rest of them, of course, I'm gonna ignore it. Let's see how that works. View issue. And of course, it will be populated on the right hand side because the screen is actually shared. So I can edit them, of course, from here. Yep, works pretty. Okay, so what about the issues which they've been created already and they do not have any value. So here is a little different compared to the server because in server, 
that custom fields is not going to be shown. However, in, 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 in a cloud, it's a little different. I'm going to show you. So let's actually go into the backlog. And needs to be, of course, cannot be bag, as you remember, it must be something like task or or my uh, story. And now I'm going to go into my full screen mode and then you're going to see something interesting. So project start date, development and development status are set to none because that is the default column. And well, this is actually how the Jira cloud works. So if you, <laughs> you want to change that, of course, there you go. This is how you can change the apartment. So I'm like dev, yep. project start date, we can say, oh, whatever, 22nd. Cool. So that's really it, you know, for actually our custom fields. However, there is more to that because I am preparing for you the combination of custom fields plus screens. Why this is so, so, so great, especially, especially screens and how to utilize them with additional validators. This is pretty cool. So like, I'm just going to tease you because what is going to happen now, if for instance, I want to move the issue from to do to in progress, of course, there is nothing which is stopping me. So in the next one, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you actually how to create that little screen, which is popping up when you will be moving and is going to ask you in that moment, what is the department? What is the status or what is the project start? So this is just like a beginning, like, you know, how you can combine them together. So please, 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 as always, do not just watch it, do it yourself, because this is only one way how you can learn it. And of course, if you like this video, please leave the like. And I love, love, love answering your comments. So please leave the comments if you, I don't know, if you want to see how to do it in, in, in the server or you, you actually want to know about any GR issues. And of course, you know, don't forget to also join our group. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you next time.